Hey, what's up, YouTube? Joe Singleton here, and yes, this is another video. This video is going to be titled Top 4 Sonic, Sonic TV Shows. Now, I only choose Top 4 because there are a lot of Sonic TV shows that were like, I have mixed feelings for, so I choose to get, get them out. But I'm going to start with the ones I, I watched that were good to me. So, anyway, <clears throat> let's kick off with the first one. Starting with number one will be would be Sonic Medium Adventures. Now these are actually isn't like a TV show, but it's T it's kind of like cartoon shorts. Have the same style of, of Sonic not talking like in a Looney Tunes shorts, but it has both action, comedy, a huge story, and characters we get to see again. Like Sonic Tails and old characters. What well, Sonic Tails and Knuckles and also old characters from the Sonic Sonic Arcade universe, like Ray the Fox and also Mighty the the armadillo. Now you could probably tell these characters, these two characters right here were basically just knockoffs of. You can see my. There it is. If you can see my finger. Uh, knockoffs of Dale because you could tell like it. The flying squirrel, flying fox, strong armadillo, strong, strong echidna. That would I guess they were like the original ideas for, for Sonic friends, but they changed them up. So I'm glad we got sales enough. Tails and also Knuckles, but we did they get to show these characters again. I don't know why, but mm, just because in there we're back in the Sonic, the old school Sonic, like way back before he got into you know the Avengers series. I give this series came back out in, if I'm not mistaken, in it was in 2018. But the month for the series was March, yeah, March 30th, 2018. Which this series was good, and they still made new episodes. They made a Christmas special, but they're probably gonna make this into a probably a series. So I gave this a series of 10 out of 10 because of how funny, comedic, and it had a great climax at the end. Now for Sonic X, that's number two. Sonic X came back in 2014. The first episode was it was in 2014, but I'm gonna explain this. Two. Uh, it was 2014, but the series was not based on the games, but it was based in the Sonic Adventure series, like the Sonic Adventure series. It was funded by four kids for the commit for the dub, and yeah, episode the first episode came back. Well, not the first episode, but. Oh wait, this came out through 2013, not 2003. Now the first episode was August 23rd, 2013. I mean 2003. I mean 2003. <laughs> so sorry, my mind's faded out. The series mostly is about Sonic. Sonic being in the human world. He now meeting his friend, his new friend Chris, and getting his old friend like like Tails, Cream, Amy, Knuckles. All of them was in here. Even Shadow, Ruse, and everyone. They took the inspiration from the Sonic Sonic Adventure series uh, style, and also this is the style you mostly see him in in the games. Um, yeah. Next, I read this back. Some people are gonna be shocked. I read it ten out of ten because I used to. I this was the first Sonic cartoon I, I used to watch, and the dub wasn't so bad. I mean, it wasn't that so bad. I mean, that I complained, but it was good. Next up is the good one that some people wish that came back is Science at the M. This came back out in 1993. Now, this series takes place for the Archer character Sonic. Like, this is Sonic when the Archer comic books took place. We still have Tails Sonic, but we had S Sally Acorn, Bunny Rabbit. Well, for a lot of characters, a lot of characters in this series came, came here to game into the series, except for Amy. Now, this series only had two seasons, so when blame for people, blame and one of my being, this was made by Drip, I think. Deke. Um, Deke was a weird com company. Um, they made like Go Go Guys, you know, other cartoon series. I think they did. I think they did something else. But they made another Sonic series that wasn't so good. Like Sonic Adventure Sonic, they made Dr. Robotnik like evil. Now, I didn't mention this in the other series because they, Sonic guys, Sonic guys, he was still comedic and evil, but not to the point evil or in Sonic 
Sonic Avenger. He was evil, yes, but he was still his comedic evil. But this one was so evil, bloodthirsty. Like he wouldn't care who he who gets in the way with him. He does not care. He don't take jokes. He literally is the definition of a villain. This is the robot that we could have had in the games. But yeah, sadly the series did not get a season three. So, but the guy who won created the season three for the show. He he passed away. I think in 2010. Yeah, he wanted to bring it back into a movie or anything. He because he cared about the characters. Ah, uh, yeah. And lastly, the last Sonic series is Sonic Boom. Now, I don't hate Sonic Boom. I kind of. I think the ideas were was it for was good. I mean, the game had glitches, and there's some character designs that they could use. Like for one, sticks the badger. I like the first design having her with a bow and making her be she was from a distant tribe because she didn't know anything, and that's why she was talking crazy. But they just cut that out. I don't know why. Now Sonic Boom was one of the interesting series. I kind of hope we we could have got, but it ended in 2017. Now some people have mixed feelings with the show. And Cartoon Network did as well because it was too comedic and I mean it wasn't serious. Sonic was a lot older. Not older, older, like they explained that he was like 17, Tails was like 12, you know, all the characters were older. It made me care for Amy and Sonic as a couple. Yeah, I admit I was actually into this Sonic and Amy thing in Boom. That's close to what did. And people were hoping that Sonic. This would be the best spin-off series for Sonic, but nope. It couldn't work out the kinks on how to make this into a spin-off because make it better, but they couldn't even do it. Now, now do I think they could have tried again with another spin-off series for Sonic? Yes, I could, but not with Sonic. Like a spin-off series made with his psychic tails or knuckles or anyone else. Plus, I do have a nitpick. They do, they did dumb down Knuckles for some stupid reason. I guess they make him a comedic character, but he wasn't like that at all. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Now this list was just for just comedic fun. Now I'm gonna make a, the next video. I'll probably want to do is talk about Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Well, I'll talk about that next week. So I'll find that. So anyway, there's just one video I wanted to do. I'm mostly trying to do one video for this week. Well, mostly this week, just for I will finish. This. What I'm trying to say is this, this week I'm only doing two, one video for it for Monday and Tuesday because that, those are the videos I had came up with. And then Thursday I still have my other three, and Friday I still have my the other videos I haven't made. I have had it up for the last couple of Fridays, but I didn't pull out. So this is it for the video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, tell me what you think about it. And I'll see you guys Thursday. And I'm Ben Jones from Singleton, better known as M-A-J-H-S-O-P-1. Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.